Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the sword, uh, or make a little game out of the sword template that's currently free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the free, free for the month here. And if you're listening to this in the future, this might not be free, but this is the template I'm using here. Uh, and it's a very good template. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a project here, and I'm going to call this just sword underscore YouTube or sword UT, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and push create. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a project here, okay? And then once we hop back in here, we can just simply uh, double click this sword um, YouTube here. And what it will do is it will come up with its own uh, project here. And that's essentially what you need to do here. So make me wait a couple seconds and there's always some plugins that need um, uh, enabling, but we're not going to enable anything. So I'm going to go ahead and push play here. And you can see there's a little bit of a tutorial. So you have to push F. And then, you know, we have all these cool different animations here. And it's really, really awesome. I'm very, very happy with it. So what we need to do first is we need to create a new level here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go file, new level. And we're just going to make the default level first, okay? So once you make the default level, uh, we need to do a couple things. First, we need to expand the playing area. So just click the floor here and scale it to maybe four by four. Okay, and then what we can also do is click the player start here and then move it back here. Now, here's the thing about the player start. Um, if you push F, well, huh, where is it? Like, where is, it's not working. Well, this is fairly common uh, when you add in a lot of these projects here. So how do we fix this? Well, it's very easy. Let's go to edit project settings here and in this project settings we're going to go into uh, the maps and modes and you can see that we have the game mode base what we want to do is add in the first person game mode here now why am I clicking in the first person game mode let's just hop into our blueprints here and we have to have this first person game mode and what that first person game mode if we just kind of double click on it here uh, and we open up uh, the full blueprint editor here um, You'll, you'll see that there are a, a, a few things that we uh, we can add in here. Uh, but for the most part, this is the game mode that we uh, that we want. And if we play this here, guess what? We pull F and then now we have our character to be used in a different level. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, so this is kind of one step on a multi-step path to... Um, uh, to actually start up uh, and make a small little game with this template here. All right, see you in the next tutorial.